All right. That took way too long. Hey, dragons. How are you guys doing? Uh, welcome. We're going to be doing all signs. And this is going to be, which one was I doing? Whatever comes out. So this is going to be uh, whatever's happening for you um, for whenever you need to see it, whenever you need to hear it. So I'm kind of going to try to make this more uh, timeless than anything. Okay. So just whatever you need to hear at the moment. And I trust that uh, if it's meant for you, it will find you. Okay. So we're going to be doing Aries through the Pisces. Make sure that you guys are checking for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements for a full picture of what you need to hear or what may be going on for you. Um, also, yes, I am taking super chat questions. If you don't know how that works, you can go check it out at violettaalexis.com. Click under super chat rules and all of that information will be available there. Also, while you're there, you can go ahead and book a personal tarot reading with me if you'd like, okay? Um, hello, Jill. Hello, Charlene. Hello, Anna. Good to see you guys. Shout out to Complexity for becoming a member once again. Keep in mind, you guys, um, the solar eclipse just happened yesterday. I saw it. It was freaking so stunning. The solar eclipse happened with the North Node and on my natal North Node. So scary 12th house shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, and yeah, it was really, really beautiful. If you guys want to see your astrological uh, transits for your rising sign, you guys can go ahead and head over and become a member by clicking my YouTube channel, clicking the join button and joining level one. If you want to join level two, you'll be able to see all of your individual tarot readings. Um, so keep that in mind as well. That option is obviously always available for you. Okay. I kind of did like the tired girl, like soft goth look today. <laughs> Can I be so bold to say that? Probably not. Um, I put like a bl I didn't put any like concealer under my eyes. I just put like blush. I was kind of feeling like a little emo. You know what I mean? Like, fuck you, mom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like the F you mom look. Um, anyway, so yeah, the solar clip was super cool. The effects of that will last for six months, you guys. So please keep that in mind. It's not just a one day as far as we, as far as uh, astrologically speaking goes. So let's go ahead and uh, start out with Aries, of course. Uh, what's up, Jessica? What's up, Scorpio King? What's up, Leo Empress? What's up, Barbie? Yvonne? Alexis, good to see you. Thank you so much. And Darcy as well for being the first super chatters of the night. Ren says hello from the you now days. Shh, don't tell anyone. No, <laughs> Hi, good to see you. What's up, DP? What's up, Michaela? Smack on my natal Venus. Really? Yeah, it's it's in Aries. And so it's it's squaring my midheaven. And squaring my natal Mars, and I'm just like, Ugh. doesn't look great for my reputation or my social status. So, but we'll see, we'll see. I have a Mars in Capricorn, so I don't work for the the God of War. The God of War works for me. Okay, I'm very proud to say that. I think I'm gonna open a window real quick, just because I'm a little, I'm a little hot. Uh, you look so cute, like a goth girl in high school, <laughs> who would glare at me and say, "What are you looking at?" <laughs> Yeah, it's giving like soft goth tumbler core. Okay. All right. Oh my god. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and start with of course, the stars of the show as per, okay? Let's do Aries. Aries, 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 where are you? There we go. All right. Uh, what kind of, how do I want to do this? Hold on. Give me a second. Sarah, thank you. Hold on. Just gonna freestyle it. Fuck it. What's up, complexity? The way you describe things sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Aries, how you doing? Let's go ahead and see what you need to know right now. 
Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. The strength. What's up, Anna T? Good to see you. You think something is failing. And you might get to a point where you feel like giving up until the last moment when you get too stubborn and you realize that you don't want to actually give up at all. It's interesting because it feels to me like you're trying to stick with what is tried and what's true. For some of you, you may not be listening to other people's opinions when it comes to what it is that you need to do about a relationship, what it is that you need to do about a career, what it is that you need to do about finances or some kind of cell phone business or something like that. But it's interesting because it's like your own passion for something is keeping you hanging on, or it will. Tell me about that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You doubt it. You doubt something that you want to take a leap of faith with. That's the thing. You want to do it. You're there. You want to do it. But it feels like something has already failed before. Do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So what I mean by that is it's like you're wanting to jump ahead. You're wanting to skip five steps ahead or something like that. But it feels like it's around something similar that you've tried to trailblaze down before. So maybe it's a relationship. Um, maybe it's some kind of hobby that you want to turn into a business, but it seems like you've almost went on this venture before and you're kind of doubting it because of the past. So it's like you're not really giving something a fighting chance because of the past. And I can understand, right? I, can, I was just reading this book called The Mountain Is You and she was talking about this um, where she was like, listen, you can't like you know, something bad happened to you twice, um, you know, and then you never try, try it again, you know, like that's your self-sabotaging essentially. Vanessa, thank you so much for that super chat. But I feel like you need to let yourself live a little. The five of wands with the nine of pentacles, five of wands in reverse on the nine of pentacles. It almost feels like staying in one place. That failed. We'll just stay right here. We'll stay at the nine of pentacles, which there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the nine of pentacles. But dare we try for the Ten of Pentacles? So it's like from one thing to the next. Maybe you're a tarot reader and you tried to do astrology, right? And you feel like you failed. And so you're like, well, I think I'll just go back to tarot because I'm afraid, you know? Or like not saying that that's what it is, but it's kind of like that vibe. And it's it's interesting because it makes me feel like you feel comfortable in this place. So you're not giving something a fighting chance. You're you're staying comfortable. Ella, thank you for that super chat. Sorry about that. Just got a text. Uh, the strength. But it's something that means something to you. And it's hard for you to let it go. It's like you're holding on to the idea of something, but you're not necessarily putting into action. It's like all that passion and nowhere to put it. It's like, you know, excuse me, but it's like you got a big heart on for something and you're just letting it sit there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And ultimately, you're fucking yourself, right? Um, sorry, that was that was a little crass. Um, but that's kind of what I feel. Two of wands, the hermit in reverse. Yeah, there's a paranoia of what? That you're not thinking logically, that it's not realistic. That you'll get hurt again. The Queen of Swords is somebody who's been through the ringer. You know, she's been through the fucking ringer. You know what I mean? That's why she's such a bitch. <laughs> right? The Queen of Swords is like somebody who's had their ass handed to them over and over and over again. And is like, I'm not doing this anymore. Done. Done. That's it. And that's kind of what I was getting for this. But it's like, like the desire is there. Uh, Ella, thank you so much. Times two. And thank you so much, Lee. We have cardinal isolation and stomp. Uh, stomp. Stomp out of your comfort zone. <laughs> that stomp. Get it? Because hard on. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, forgive me. I'm so, I just couldn't help myself. I said stomp out of your comfort zone. And then the hard on comment just, okay. 
I'm a Venus of Scorpio. Can I justify it with that? No. Okay. Um, cardinal isolation and step out of your comfort zone. So do you remember how I was telling you that like this is where your focus is? Aw, Lee, thank you so much for that. Can everybody hashtag Lee, please? Um, I really appreciate that, Lee. Um, remember this, that Nine of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles is about like self, right? It's about self, okay? Um, Hermit in Reverse can also be about self, but it's like I'm paranoid. I feel like I just smoke crystal meth and I'm like, you know, uh, staring out the window and fucking up the blinds, you know? Um, but <laughs> I I'm kind of feeling like if you guys have been in more of an isolation mode, and especially with the North Node in your sign, Chiron there, you know, that can be tough. That's not easy. Um, but all of these these planets, Mercury going retrograde there, um, you know, you guys uh, having the sun there, everything, this is your time to really shine. This is your time to be more optimistic than ever, if anything at all. Um, and so I feel like you guys need to get, a, get out of isolation mode, get out of hermit mode and do something that is part of your destiny that you feel very pulled to do. Okay, don't waste it. All right, you guys, thank you. Let's go ahead and move on to Taurus. Make sure you guys become a member. I'm sorry, it's getting really hot. I was like, oh my God, I don't want to like look slutty and wear this shirt. I'm just kidding. I, I would never say that. I don't really care. <laughs> but I wanted to be cute and wear a sweater, but it's just not working for me. Okay, that works. Uh, what's up, Pinky? It's good to see you. Mercury retrograde. What's up, Tom? All right, Taurus, 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 let's go ahead and see whatever comes out for you. I'm getting like a keeping something from someone or a hiding is what I'm getting with that. The magician in reverse, hmm, two of pentacles in reverse and the four of pentacles. Well, it could definitely be around finances, okay? Um, keep in mind that there could be something that you guys are avoiding because you're like, oh, God, I don't want to pay this bill. You know, yeah. I don't want to pay this bill. I don't want to do these taxes. I don't want to focus on these debts. You know, it can absolutely be something like that. Um, there could be something that you are uh, having a hard time making a decision about, and it could be something that you're holding on to if it's not about your financial situation. But there's a lot of self-doubt here with that magician in reverse. Uh, I don't have all of the tools to make this happen or – um, you know, I'm not ready for this relationship because I haven't overcome my PTSD. You know, I, I don't know, whatever the thing is. Or um, maybe you're just putting something off. You're procrastinating on do it, filing your taxes or doing something financially. You're staying put, kind of like Aries. Aries was kind of staying put. And uh, sometimes this can be out of fear. And I feel like it is. Not wanting to maybe upset someone or uh, not wanting to have to deal with the stress of something. The eight of wands that, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to have this conversation. What are we worried about? The devil. Oh, God. Is it a secret? Maybe it's a secret. Maybe it is PTSD. Maybe it's anxiety. Maybe it's something that you've held back for a long time and you're like, shit, I need to talk about this. Or maybe you really need to talk to a therapist, but, but you're avoiding it. Or, you know, there's there's something that you clearly need to talk about, but you're having a hard time doing it because it's something that's very dark within you or something that you've been holding on to for a long time. You know, it can even be something that not necessarily you did per se. You know, you could have been assaulted or something like that. And it's like, maybe you don't want to talk about it. Or maybe it is a secret. Maybe you're keeping something from someone. But whatever it is, it's like kind of hanging over you like a like a dark cloud, you know. It's giving you a hard time, whatever it is. What's that magician in reverse? The Wheel of Fortune. I think that things would go a lot easier than you think that they would. I I think that you're more in, in a analysis paralysis kind of vibe where you fear that something is going to happen even though it may not happen in the way that you think it will. Crystal Ball, thank you so much. And I, I think that for you guys, especially if you're a Taurus rising, Taurus sun or moon as well, but especially Taurus rising, you know, with all these planets in your 12th house right now, a little bit of faith is going to go a long way. And you guys lack the faith, but you lack the faith in yourself, but you forget that there's a higher power. Or you forget the universe or you forget God or you forget that spiritually 
something has your back. And it's not always just about you. It's not always just on you to tackle things. You need to remember that, you know, especially if you guys are like hyper independent, as a lot of Tauruses that I know are, right? Um, Taurus placements can be incredibly hyper independent. Um, but you need to remember that there's something out there that's trying to help you on your path. The two of pentacles in reverse, the queen of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's some insecurities here some fears, some anger even, some confusion about self, about your own sense of self-worth. I, I, I feel like it's a, a lot of insecurity more than anything. That's really what I'm getting on that. But it could also be debts, finance, finances. Um, so it's kind of saying if you can, maybe you don't, you feel like you don't have all of the tools that you need, right? In order to produce something, in order to confess something, in order to talk about something. But spirits here like okay well you know um it's it, you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of like when when people's parents not mine <laughs> but when when people's parents would be like okay however much you put down on a car i will match it i feel like that's what god is trying to do with you right now whatever you put down on this i'll match it like i got you but you have to, to trust, trust that the four of pentacles the ace of cups i need one more Oh, yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. You're needing to be vulnerable vulnerable about something. You could have guilt around something. Um, it, it really is me. I don't want to clarify because I feel like it's just not my business, but it's it's like you're holding back being vulnerable about a topic, about, like, something specifically. Even if it's, like, you being afraid, like, maybe you're in a relationship where you feel like you can't be honest about things and you're like, God, they're just going to complain about this or they're going to get all pissed off because I was vulnerable about this and said that this was bothering me. And you're like, fuck that. Like, life is too short for you be for you to be holding in all of your requests or all of your needs. You know what I'm saying? And pretend like you don't have needs or whatever it is. Saturn, karma, preparation. And luck is on your side. What did I say? So here's Saturn, right? So it's like, okay, Saturn preparation. You got to do the groundwork for something. You have to do the groundwork for something. You have to make it happen for yourself. And in the nick of time, guess what? Luck is on your side. Well, what is, this says new moon in Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius ruled by? Jupiter. Jupiter is like God. You know, not, obviously is not God, but like the God of the planets. He's the biggest planet. And it's trying to say Jupiter has your back or God has your back. You just got to do the groundwork for it first, okay? So thank you so much, Taurus. And Rick, thank you so much for being here. Lori, it's good to see you, by the way. I don't even know if I said hi. Sorry, I was, like, getting straight to it. All right, let's see, Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and see whatever comes out for you. Four of Cups in reverse, world in reverse. Cassidy, thank you so much. The Queen of Cups and the Lovers in reverse. Well, there you are. In a bit of a, a crappy mood. Maybe trying to come out of a disappointing situation, potentially. I feel like a lot of you are trying to be more grateful for what you have because you're realizing that gratitude is what's going to bring in more things that you want as well. Unfinished business. Something isn't completed. Uh, something is undone. Had your eye on the ball with something. Didn't quite hit the. Didn't quite hit the bullseye. And you're quite emotionally attached to whatever it is. But there's a lack of decision being made. You're disconnected with yourself because you're so focused on something else. And this is going to sound so cliche, but I feel like if you listen to your own internal guidance or you listen to your own heart space, like you really connect with that that vulnerable side of you, or is it the mind that you need to connect with? I feel like that your heart and your mind need to shake hands and make an agreement towards something. Because it looks like your mind's not with the shits, you know what I mean? Like your heart's all into something, but your mind is like, uh-uh. 
That's what I'm kind of getting with that. And I say that because this is emotions, right? Queen of Cups is like love and vulnerability, but the lovers in reverse is Mercury. And Mercury is retrograde and the lovers is in reverse. And so I feel like it's something from the past that you're focused on. And Mercury is your ruling planet nonetheless. not like about a friendship turned lover is it or something like that the six of cups that can be a friend the chariot oh you're really determined well you're getting some kind of blessing from god here with the six of cups this is like a blessing from god I'm almost getting this energy of where you have denied something before or where you have rejected something before. It doesn't feel like you're doing that anymore. Or even if you felt rejected, it's like maybe you're still getting out there. And this is very emotionally driven. There's a lot of emotions happening here. And I say that because the four of cups is cups, six of cups is cups it's scorpio energy the chariot is cancer queen of cups cancer it's like a lot of emotions are attached and you're very emotionally driven towards something but you're realizing that you have to be brave about what the moon about your feelings all the all these feelings honey are you okay <laughs> i feel like you have a gut instinct about something Especially when that Jupiter uh, conjunct Uranus in your 12th house. It's like you have a gut feeling about something and I feel like you're going to move on it. Is it about children? Is it, is it about a friend that you're reevaluating your relationship with? Is it about the company that you keep? Is it, is it about a very specific goal that you have? The world in reverse, the three of wands in reverse. You were waiting on something to pan out. You were waiting on something to complete, but it never quite happened. And it frustrated you. It could be something or someone at a distance for some of you. But you started something, and it's been a long journey, and you feel like you didn't get some kind of closure or the door is still open. And it's not making you feel... No, I don't want to say it's not making you feel... Uh confident to take action because it feels like you're confident but you're being more so driven by your emotions than anything uh thank you vision oh the king of cups in reverse oh you fucker what's up darcy wow well we have a match kind of your heart is it oh this is gonna hurt your heart may be attached to something that is not real and I'm not saying like you can't touch it, feel it, see it. What I'm saying is somebody who may have not been completely authentic with you. Somebody who has completely manipulated you into your emotions or out of your pants for some of you. And you're still attached to that. And you're still sitting here waiting on something to happen. What the hell? I just heard It's Not Over by Daughtry. I haven't heard that song in like a decade. It's not over by Daughtry, really? I haven't heard, I don't even have that song on my thing. How strange. The lovers in reverse. The three of pentacles. In, ooh, was it a third party? Is this about love? Is that what that is? Is it about drama? Do you feel like somebody blames you for everything that you didn't bring enough to the table? God, but you're still so driven towards this. I just heard the word limerence. And I feel like that's when you, I think that's when you idealize someone or put someone or something on a pedestal, but it's like, I don't want to say it's an illusion, but. You and someone else just weren't on the same page or aren't on the same page. You got house four, balance, and confidence is your key to success. You need to take uh, very much care of your emotional needs and your emotional well-being. Once again, here we are with the emotions. House four is a natural cancer house. Um, balance, needing to make sure that your relationships are balanced, that are equal, that you're getting what you're giving in some way, shape, or form. 
Um, and this is trying to tell you not to let this bring you down in any way. Confidence is your key to success. You got to keep that and know that uh, you can win, whatever that means for you. Okay, Gemini. So thank you so much. Let's move on to Cantha. Cantha. All right, Cancers. All right, let's see. Ooh. This could be a masculine reading for some of you. So if you're a feminine, we'll look for your other placements. Ace of Wands, King of Swords, Knight of Wands in reverse. Oh, buddy. Vision, thank you so much for that super chat question. I don't, I don't really care for this. Uh, you guys know that the King of Pentacles in reverse is my least favorite king in reverse. Um, this looks like a masculine read to me, but take it as it resonates. Uh, there's a lot of masculine energy here. The King of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Wands, which can represent like a penis, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. It's very, it's a lot of masculine energy going on here. So the King of Pentacles in reverse, well, what is the King of Pentacles in reverse? Well, it can represent somebody who can't really provide for themselves or their family financially. Uh, it can be somebody who's getting ready to use another person or, or who is using another person. It can be somebody who's a stubborn dick, you know, to be honest. Um, somebody who can be quite motivated by money. I see you trying to use your logical mind with things. Um, there's no cup energy here. It's like your emotions are kind of cut out. Of course, we have to clarify. And with that Knight of Wands in reverse, well, it could be that you are desperate for attention. You're trying to get attention. Um, it can be that I heard ill-advised. I'm not sure why I heard that. Um, it can be uh, infidelity. It can be um, somebody who has a... a a lack of a sense of direction it's very interesting because it's like that king of swords is so mature and then i'm hit with the knight of wands in reverse and i'm not really sure what to think so let's see what's up ugly truth tarot good to see you i feel like i haven't seen you forever show me that king of pentacles Ooh. what's that three of swords about the tower Phew. Something is being completely destabilized. Could be a relationship, could be a job. You know, I'm not trying to freak anybody out, but it's like when we, when I'm like, okay, the three of swords, clearly somebody's upset, somebody's sad, somebody's heartbroken over something. And it's like, what? The tower? Well, the tower is Mars. Okay. So Scorpio, Aries energy. What is Mars? It's the masculine. It's the, um, you know, um, the tower basically comes in when something has been staying too long and there's an external something or another that forces you to let go um, of something or someone. So that King of Pentacles in reverse, can we clarify that? King of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Wands... If this is for my female cancers, um, I will say that you could feel like you find out that somebody has used you in some way, like somebody messages you or somebody DMs you where you see something online or somebody accidentally ass dials you and you overhear a conversation. You know, it can be something like that. And then somebody's forced to let go of a relationship or of a person. Um, it can also be something around a job, so keep that in mind, um, some kind of business or some kind of job, feeling like it's kind of failing, maybe your heart's really into it, feel like you can't rise up to the competition or something like that, um, and it's like trying to figure out where to go from here. Page of Swords is like curiosity, a new beginning, trying to figure things out. Ace of Wands is also a new beginning, so... Whatever it may be, it may be that you're motivated by it. The death in reverse. Out with the old, in with the new is what I'm getting. Something or someone won't change. Something's not evolving. And so it's like, so for some of you, if if you're not willing to evolve at a job or in a relationship, instead of evolving within that job or relationship, you may just be starting brand new and being like, I, I don't want to change or I don't want to, you know, something like that. Um... For some of you, you could be having sex with someone from the past. I know that's really random. But it could be coming from a place of heartache. King of Swords. The High Priestess. Are we keeping a secret? What is this? Okay. 
I feel like somebody's advising you about something potentially. Somebody, somebody could be advising you or helping you. Like if you guys are going through a rough patch or something like that, I feel like you have somebody like a friend or, or uh, I don't know, a brother, an aunt, and I don't know, somebody who's trying to help you see the other side of the coin or trying to help you see the potential of something. That's what that looks like to me. And I feel like they see it better than you do. But this could be you too, so keep that in mind. Is that King of Swords, this person? Reverse is no, upright is yes. Okay, yes. So it is you. So you still are logical enough to be able to see the potential of what could be after overcoming something. Now, for some of you, you can be communicating with somebody in, in secret or in private. But for others of you, um, if this is about a breakup, this could be about like a reconciliation type of vibe. Okay, where we're talking about things behind the scenes, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Hangman in reverse. Well, we're still lost. We don't have any perspective. Yet we're trying to hold on to control. We're trying to control something. But we're also not willing to make changes or somebody's not. So it's like, where do you go from here? The hangman in reverse, uh, or the hangman in general is the 12th house. If we have the hangman in reverse, this is, the 12th house is where things go to die or where things go to end. So it's like when we have it in reverse, it's like, no, 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 not letting go. You know, it's like being in the womb and not, and refusing to, you know, pop out. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Mars, risk, a new romantic cycle begins. So for some of you, asking yourself, is the risk worth the reward with something? Uh, Mars is can definitely be about sex. Um, this can be about risky sex. Um, for others of you, this is about taking an action that might be risque. Um, now, a new romantic cycle begins. This can represent a new person coming into your life. For others of you, this can represent taking a risk with the same person and just having a new cycle. But I definitely feel like something is being let go of for once and for all. Okay. So thank you so much, Cancer. Let's go ahead and move on to Leo's. What's up, Moon Sun Tarot? How are you? Oh, thanks, Ugly Truth. What's up, Miracle? How are you? All right. Let's go ahead and look at Leo. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and see whatever comes out for you. Ooh, the star. Finally, a good read. Okay, okay. The Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, I like it. And the Page of Cups. I really like it. A lot of hope, following your dreams, not only that, but putting it into perspective for yourself, sharing the wealth, uh, people sharing their wealth with you. I feel like you're getting out, you're socializing, you're working on um, you know, finding uh, social prospects, getting together, trying to introduce yourself to new people. Uh, if you're single, maybe having a new love offer or offering someone something. Um, for those of you that are taken, I just see maybe a creative group that you're joining or something like that. But for, for others of you, it could be associating with people in order to make money or focusing on the contacts that you're making with people to be able to bring in some kind of income. Like there could be some kind of financial aspect to this. Oh, I love it. The star, the temperance. Yeah, see, seven of pentacles. Could be a financial aspect to this. Absolutely. We're being quite patient, temperance, seven of pentacles. We're being quite patient in regarding the things that we're trying to create. Um, we're not only sharing our knowledge about things, temperance is Sagittarius, which is Jupiter, that can represent like knowledge. Um, we're not only sharing our knowledge, but I feel like we're also learning about something that we're trying to create. And it's something that we're, I don't want to say like we're putting all our eggs in one basket because that's not necessarily the seven of pentacles, but we're, we're definitely like trying to figure out, can I actually do this thing? Um, can I follow this dream? Um, can I take this financial risk? Is this for me? You know, I see that kind of happening. And you're really taking your time in whatever this is. But it looks really good. Your energy's good. I feel like you got your head on your shoulders. You're, you got your head on your shoulders, bitch. I think we all do, right? You have your head on straight. So yeah, I don't really have anything, anything bad. bad to say. The Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. Mm. 
Yeah, so this is why you're taking it so slow now, I see. Because you made um you made some kind of impulsive financial decision previously is what this looks like, and you regretted it. You're like, why did I buy that car? Why did I invest all that money in that stock? So now I don't have any of that money. You know, why did I invest in that guy or that girl or what? You know, so whatever it is, it seems like you're really taking your time making a decision now or investing or learning on something, uh, learning about something or working on something because before where you were really impulsive, you regretted it. And so you've basically just learned from your mistakes. I'm not going to lie. It looks like you're still in that regret though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So let's see, the Hierophant. For some of you, if you are single, you meet, may meet a marriage partner while you're out and about and while you're socializing. For others of you, you could be joining a religious group or you could be joining um, some kind of educational group, um, some kind of spiritual group for some of you. And I feel like these people are really aligned with you, whatever it is. With that Nine of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Pentacles, whatever it is that you're working on seems like it's something that's building your foundational structure for your life. Page of Cups. Ooh, maybe somebody from the past comes back. That could definitely be it. Hey, Mercury retrograde. You know what I mean? It can be that. Somebody may be offering an apology. Okay, or you may be. Keep that in mind. Water is your advice with distraction and your hard work is paying off. So it may be telling you not to allow your emotions to get too involved with something um, just because it could be a distraction, especially with this new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. It may be telling you that, you know, I'm not telling you that you can't open your heart up. I'm not telling you, like, listen, follow your own counsel. But I'm saying that if you get your emotions too involved in something, you may end up sabotaging yourself. So make sure that you have your eye on the ball and make sure that you keep your eye on the prize and one step at a time. Okay, so. Thank you so much, Leo. Let's go ahead and move on to my Virgos. Hello, my fellow Virgos. What's up, James? All right, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, Virgo, how are you? Let's see. The Ten of Swords in Reverse. The Queen of Wands. The Four of Wands. The Knight of Cups. Well, I have to clarify this, but that can definitely represent you not getting over something or you being like, you know what, bye. <laughs> over it, overcame it, evolved, here we are. Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, Knight of Cups. Whew. This is definitely breaking out of your shell. Uh, the Queen of Wands doesn't give a fuck what anybody thinks. You'll see that she has this little black cat right here. Um, this is supposed to be like a symbolism of her shadow self and, you know, how black cats are like a bad omen or like they're bad luck. She has it right there out in front and center and she's not afraid of it. Um, I feel like you're breaking free of something that is maybe shameful to you or shameful for you. And if that's not what it what it is, it just seems like there's something that happened to you that really fucking hurt and you're overcoming it. And because you're able to overcome it, you're able to evolve. And I feel like you're having more fun in your life. Um, if you're single, I see love coming in. Uh, if you're taken, still could be love coming in, right? In regards to your partner, you know, this could be like showering you with love and gifts and serenading you or whatever, right? But this can also be about your creative uh, uh, your creativity as well. So maybe you're an actor, maybe you're a writer, maybe you do music or something like that. So let's go ahead and see that Ten of Swords in reverse. Yep, Four of Swords. Wow. Oof. I need one more. The Ace of Swords. Something's being quite clear to you. Um, you may be feeling like you're settling in a situation or maybe you're not getting what it is that you're worth. Um, you know, but for some of you, it can be a redo. So it's kind of hard to say, um, if this is about specifically a relationship, um, this can be about you being like, you know what? I don't want any parts of that. I'm done. Right. But I see that eight of cups in reverse, but it just could be that you're starting to be more aware that you've been settling in a situation for others of you. You could, get a, you could get a message um, from somebody or somebody comes back in the past or you do. Now, the Eight of Cups in reverse is in your energy. So maybe you are even um, – maybe it's not about a relationship per se, but maybe it's about you being like, holy shit, like 
I realized that I still haven't overcame that thing that really hurt me or that trauma or that abusive family member, what they did to me. It's like there's something that is like something's clicking for you. And because something is clicking for you, you're like, okay, I need to take a back seat for a minute. It's it's almost like you're in a cocoon period um, at first. And then it's like you come out of nowhere with the Queen of Wands energy, like some big crazy glow up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and see that Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands. It started with a step. I feel like this is the step. But almost it's almost like for some of you, you went backwards to realize that there was still something that you needed to heal or something that you needed to sit on. Ugly Truth Tarot, thank you so much for the super chat question. Uh, Gigi, thank you so much for the super chat question. But even when you didn't feel confident enough to take a step forward or to try something, you did it anyway. The Page of Wands is humble beginnings. It's like, ah, I don't know if this is going to work or I don't know if people are going to like this, but I guess I'm just going to try it anyway. And whatever that thing is, you did it. And not only that, but you're succeeding at it. And with that Queen of Wands there, it's like you're looking good. You look incredible. You don't care what any anybody thinks. I want to say any more maybe. You're being very outspoken. You're being a leader. You're listening to your gut feelings. This is two deacons of Aries, one deacon of Pisces. And so I, I feel like you are being that leader. And it's because you're listening to your intuition. It's because you're listening to your emotions. And you're doing what it is that you need to do in order to, I don't want to say survive, but live. You have the four of wands, the six of pentacles. Some of you are buying a home. Or some of you are getting having a housewarming party. Or you're getting a gift from somebody for your home. Or for some of you, you go out, somebody buys you a drink if you drink. It just seems like you're having a good time. It, I don't really see. <laughs> yeah, knight, knight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody here could be trying to win you over, okay? Um, but this could also be about a creative project, something that you're really mastering. Um, you know, you guys had a solar eclipse if you're a Virgo rising, but a, a sun and moon as well. But that solar eclipse in the eighth house, you know, this is very much about new beginnings in regards to being vulnerable, allowing yourself to really get deep, really be vulnerable about things. And maybe for some of you, you're working on that. Maybe that's a, a thing of yours, or maybe you have a partner that's like that. I don't know. But um, but if it's not about that, it could absolutely be um, you guys working on something more creative. Capricorn is your advice with observation. A win-win outcome is forecast. I like this. So Capricorn, right? Saturnian energy. This is cardinal energy. This is about putting one foot in front of the other and watching how everybody does it. That's what Capricorn does, right? So Aries, Air, the sign of Aries is like, right? It's the first sign in the zodiac. I want to be first. I'm just going to get up the hill, right? I don't know why we're going up the hill. I'm not going to ask any questions. I just know that I want to be first, right? Taurus is like, all right, let's slow down. I want to make sure that I get there even if it takes me a while, right? <laughs> Gemini might have a lot of questions, right? <laughs> But Capricorn watches all the signs behind him or her go up the hill first, seeing what worked, seeing what failed, and seeing how Capricorn needs to do it better. And I feel like with this Capricorn observation vibe, this is telling you to do that. And I don't know what that is about specifically for you. Now, win-win outcome is forecast. So this could be about a relationship where you guys come to terms with something or you guys come to an agreement on something or you guys come to some kind of common understanding and there's some kind of positive culmination in regards to that. And keep in mind, we're having these uh, uh, solar eclipse solar eclipse or let me just say we're in eclipse season with the aries and the libra access uh, access axis axes <laughs> so it's a, a me versus we kind of thing so um so I kind of feel like that's what that's about. I feel like you're trying to trailblaze with something, but I think that you're kind of compromising with another person perhaps with something. I don't know what it is. All right, thank you, Virgo. Let's go ahead and move on to Libra. All right, Libra, how you doing? Let's see. The Judgment. The Seven of Cups in reverse. The Page of Pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Wands. Definitely making a big, big call here. Definitely making a big call. I mean, that's a, that's a really big decision. It could be that you guys are bringing something back from the past, okay? So I don't know what that is. Doesn't have to be love. Could it be? Absolutely, okay? Especially with you guys. You guys having Mercury going retrograde in your seventh house. You and Sagittarius are definitely two of the two of the people that I would say uh, are uh, most likely have somebody coming back from the past. It's obviously not for all of you, okay? Um, 
And with that Seven of Cups in reverse, Page of Pentacles in reverse, mm, not sure what this is. It could be a big realization or a big reality check in regards to a person, in regards to a child, in regards to a lover, in regards to a business idea. Something that I feel like you're dropping or it could just be a missed opportunity. But I like this with that Nine of Wands. Shows me you're coming out on top after a long time coming. So let's see what that judgment is. Yeah. See that? Mm. I need one more for that, honey. Ooh. Ooh. Libra. <gasps> Libra. Okay. So, right, we're all going to go straight to the love first, okay? Because I, I see this playing out a couple of different ways. First of all, Libra. If you have somebody coming back from the past and you're already in a relationship or you have somebody coming back from the past but there is somebody who is better for you or somebody who is more mm, mature, somebody who is more of a boss, I guess you could say, or like a head, you know, somebody who takes initiative, somebody who's mature, somebody who gets it. Um, somebody who may be a little bit different than you, um, I think that even if somebody does come back from the past, I think that you're going to choose the emperor archetype. For others of you, if you are the masculine, I think that you are realizing that a certain way that you've gone about when it comes to like life or work or whatever, where maybe you thought that you were, you know, don't take this the wrong way, but where you thought you were the shit or you thought you were this or you thought you were that or whatever, right? It's like you may have been humbled in some way or you may be being currently humbled by something, which is actually making you realize the things that you need to work on and you are actually getting to this point where you're building building a better character foundation for yourself where it's not ego, it's actual legitimate confidence. Um, and you could still be a woman and this is happening. We're all made up of masculine and feminine energies. Um, for others of you, it is about um, two people and having a decision to make between two people. Okay, I could see that happening. Because I feel like a missed opportunity comes back from the past and maybe somebody's just showing you a different side of themselves, you know? But yeah, it could be one of those. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the five of swords. <sighs> I need one more for that. The justice in reverse. That's you. Ooh, good. All right. So Libra, um, I will say if... If you've been fucking around, okay, if you've been, you know, smoking that shit, if you've been, no, I'm just kidding. But if you've been, like, not doing something that is morally good, <laughs> I guess you could say, um, I feel like it's not going to feel good. I feel like you might get a reality check. However, um, somebody who kind of did you dirty, maybe, you could be seeing the reality of this person and they could be getting their karma so it's it's really going to depend on you but let me put it like this it, it's around something to do with somebody uh incorporating underhanded tactics to win something um being very manipulative being hella competitive with something but like not in like a healthy way like an unhealthy way you know Reminds me of those ice skaters where the bitch like broke her knees or something so she wouldn't win the tournament or whatever. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like that kind of shit. So I feel like somebody may be getting their negative karma. Ooh. Is it a manipulative family member? I need one more for that. The six of wands.
So for some of you, if somebody is like making you all these promises and telling you everything that they're going to do for you and how they're going to make this right and blah, blah, I don't think that you're buying it. Like it, it's making me wonder if somebody's like love bombing you in some way and making you all these promises. And I just don't think that you're with it. I had to pull here because I wanted to see how it ends and it ends with you. It ends with you being like, bitch, I don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> To me, the Nine of Wands is after you go through a very long battle, you express yourself, forward movement, right? Because the Eight of Wands comes for the Nine of Wands. But then the Nine of Wands is like, oh, finally, that's over. I came out on top. I might have some bumps and bruises, but damn, bitch, look at me, right? The Empress. So now we have the Empress and the Emperor. This comes out with you not accepting less than what you deserve and then, therefore, you getting what it is that you deserve, whether it's a position, Venus, baby, your ruling planet coming in. To pay you homage, like, come on. And luck? Okay. All right. You're fine, Libras. Show the world the real you. So, yeah, I want to say, like, you can be kind. You can be nice. You can be whatever. But um, I want to say, like, be authentic about how you feel. Like, that's great. Thank you. But it's a no for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, take care of yourself. I, th I think that the more that you invest into yourself and the more that you choose yourself, um, I think that the more luck that you're going to have. And I think that you'll be blessed just as long as you're being authentic to you. Do, do you know what I'm saying with that? So if you don't feel something, but you are like saying that you do, right, just for an example, in order to appease someone else, you're not going to get, you're blocking your blessings. You're blocking your own blessings. So keep that in mind. Thank you, Libra. What am I doing here? <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to Scorpio here. All righty. Scorpio. All right, let's see what Scorpio's got. I'm going to have to pull out my second deck here. The Ten of Wands. The Nine of Cups. Ooh, the King of Cups in reverse. Oh, no. That Nine of Wands in reverse. Is that King of Cups in reverse this person that I'm reading for? Reverse is no. Upright is yes. Yes. So this looks like a masculine read. Um, okay, I'm just going to put put that out there. So if you're a feminine Scorpio, keep in mind that this this may be a masculine read. Okay. Um, <clears throat> final push forward. But it feels like you're giving up on something. Just because I see the nine of wands in reverse and then I see the ten of wands. It feels like the completion is maybe giving up on something. Um, I feel like you have a lot going on, but I feel like you're handling it well. Seems like you're getting something that you want with that nine of cups. Very much focused on yourself. Uh, you may have had a responsibility to other people or another person, but it seems like you are also focused on self and what it is that makes you content. I don't really care for the king of cups in reverse, especially for it to be clarified with this, the seven of cups. Um, you could be kind of manipulating somebody. I'm just going to be honest. The king of cups in reverse is somebody who literally says whatever they need to say in order to get in someone's pants or in order to get something from them in order to get their needs met. Um, and that nine of wands in reverse makes me feel like you're losing <laughs> or something. Like you shoot your shot and you're cut down. But let's see. What's up, uh, Thelma? Okay. Well, I like that. Don't like that. Mm. What's that nine of swords? Ooh, oh God. When it comes to like your mundane responsibilities or when it comes to like what you have going on, maybe in the 3D reality or when it comes to a cell phone business or when it comes to like your financial responsibilities towards other people or like, you know, taking care of business, it seems like you got it. But I feel like when it comes to something else, it could be – a. It could be – you could be uh, having anxiety about a child, okay, decisions around children for some reason. For others of you, there can be something that you've been putting off, um, like you're delaying something. And it can be around a huge decision or it can be around taking accountability for something that you've done in the past. 
um, and you're stressed on it. You're stressed about it. And so instead of like addressing it, you're just stressing about it. And you're focused on like, okay, well, let me focus on my bills. Let me focus on my work. Let me focus on cleaning the house, you know, or, or something like that. Because it, it kind of feels like you're trying to like distract yourself because you don't want to address whatever this is. Or you don't want to make the big decision. Nine of Cups, High Priest, I need one more. The Two of Wands. Well, you're getting your needs met, potentially from somebody who's very mysterious, sexy. You could have a choice between two people. For others of you, this is about you focusing on what makes you content, um, focusing on a decision that you need to make in regards to tapping into your higher potential, or it's that you guys are trying to trust your intuition. There's an old path and a new path, and it seems like you're having a hard time making a decision around it. But the decision that you're going to be making is the one that makes you feel the best. Where you're like, no, this makes me feel content. This makes me feel good. I can indulge in this. I can lay in this. I can sit in this. I can, I can, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what that is. King of Cups in reverse. I need one more for that. You're trying to be logical more than anything. It doesn't really feel like you're very focused on your emotions or very focused on making decisions around emotions. If 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 anything, you're not. I don't want to say you're you're focused on um not another's emotions. You're focused on like your own personal emotions and what makes you feel happy, which I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that, but this is making me feel like you're sweating something. So I don't know if it's that you're sweating a decision because you're afraid to hurt hurt someone's feelings or if you're fearing taking accountability for something that you did to another person or that you just done in general and so you're kind of putting it off. But it's it's like you're looking at something like, okay, they just don't appreciate me. This job just doesn't appreciate me or this person just doesn't appreciate me. Why be vulnerable? Just going to cut it out, you know, and you could be communicating that. The Nine of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, King and Queen of Cups in reverse. It seems like you're giving up on somebody that just doesn't trust you, okay? Or you're giving up on someone because you don't trust them. Chiron is your advice with direction and conclusions are within reach. So full moon eclipse. So um, when are we having a, a full eclipse? Uh, when are we having a full moon in Aries? Is that in October? I can't remember. Um, but this is basically telling you to go in the, to go in the direction of healing, like whatever your wounds are or needing to make sure that you're addressing whatever those wounds are. And I'm not sure why it's telling you that. I don't know what your wounds are. I don't know what the thing is that you need to work on specifically. It's going to be different for all of you, but it's saying that there's some kind of ending near, but it's like, you're going to, you're going to have to be the one that initiates that. So it doesn't have to be like something is done forever, but it needs to be like a conclusion that you're needing to probably take action on yourself or initiate. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to Saggy. What's up, Rosie? Wait, what? Wait, stop what? What do you mean? <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and see what's coming out for you. The Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Sun in reverse. Well, you're definitely feeling a little impulsive, you know what I'm saying? What's up, JJ? You're definitely feeling impulsive. Uh, you're probably ready to communicate something, but this is more so giving me a vibe of like you're trying to find something out. Six of Cups in reverse makes me feel like you're a little focused on the past or there's some kind of grudge being held or somebody here is having a hard time maybe growing up, especially with that sun in reverse in, com in combination. Um, for others of you, uh, it's just that you're still focused on something from the past because if you look, look at, at that Knight of Swords, he's facing this way. The Six of Cups in reverse can be about the past. Even though we have all this stuff over here, right? He's he's focused back there. So there's something behind you that you're still focused on that you feel like you can't let go of. You may feel like something is blocking your blessings, but I feel like it's you. 
Now, with that eight of pentacles there, uh, you could be focusing on your routine, you know, your health, your workout routine, your fitness, your, I don't know, your, just your health in general, right? Especially Sag rising, as you guys are going to have that Jupiter Uranus conjunction in your sixth house anyway. So it's going to be a big, maybe it's a new job, you know, maybe it's a different way of working. Maybe you're wanting to work from home. Maybe, um, you know, you are uh, wanting to figure out a new workout routine or something, and that ends up being very beneficial for you. You know, who knows, right? Um, but you're working on it, whatever it is. And it seems like you're mastering something. And then we have the sun in reverse. So I'm not sure what that is yet. Let's see. Something. This is almost giving me like something that you're feeling in your gut. This could be a masculine read as well. This is giving me heavy mercury energy. Hold on. Some of you are trying to figure out how to start an at-home business, okay, for some of you. Um, for others of you, you're working with a business partner behind the scenes on something, and you're trying to figure out how to make something happen. For others of you, you're feeling like you need to move. What's that hermit, though? Sorry, the Page of Cups. This is going to sound really weird, but some of you could feel very taken care of by somebody or somebody could feel that way towards you. But I feel like there's two different people in these energies. It, it feels like there's somebody here who's very like on the ball, ready to take the action. And there's another person who's almost like the rock of, of the plan or of something. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. But there's definitely this self-awareness of what it is that you want when it comes to work, when it comes to business, when it comes to your home, your family life, et cetera. And it feels like you're going for it. It doesn't really feel like you're wasting any time. And you're kind of in this energy of with or without you, whatever that means. You know what I mean? What's up, Mad Max? Like, you know, I feel like you know what you want. The Six of Cups in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune. I need one more for that. Ten of Swords in reverse. To me, this is some kind of past either relationship or past friendship or some kind of blessing that you thought was supposed to be for you. But you didn't get it, okay? Whatever that is. But it seems like with that Wheel of Fortune, we don't give a fuck about that anymore. We're over it. Old news. That was yesterday. That was so, you know, 2020, whatever the case is. And it feels like you're just moving forward. You're letting go of that control. Because it feels like there's something bigger than whatever the Six of Cups in reverse is. But some of you need to be careful because you're too focused on the details of something from the past that you didn't get. And that wheel of fortune is about moving forward. So be cautious of that. Be, be, be careful of being too cautious of focusing on some kind of blocked blessing or what you thought is a blocked blessing from the past because it's telling you that once you finally are able to let that go and not focus so heavy on it, then that other thing is going to come in for you. And it's bigger than the Six of Cups. It's the fucking wheel of fortune, you know, excuse my French, which is Jupiter, which is your ruling planet. So I feel like you're spent, you may be spending too much time on something that just wasn't meant for you, but there's a lesson in there somewhere. The Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, love this. I absolutely love this. I mean, this is great. I mean, this makes me feel like you're putting your happiness first. There's something that you finally let go of and you're like, you know what, let's just see where this takes me, uh, which is your guys' kind of forte anyway. 
Um, but you're very much working on the things that make you feel good. Um, Jupiter again here, Jupiter and Pisces energy, focusing on maybe spirituality, trying to master that. Uh, Pisces can also be about like letting go, right? 12th house can be about working on learning to let things go for some of you. I could absolutely see that working on something behind the scenes, something very creative. Jupiter and Pisces is highly creative. Um, I have Jupiter and Pisces retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it can be about like cinema, film, you know, if you do stuff on TikTok or YouTube or maybe you're a writer or an actress or, or something like that. So there's something that you're working on very creative, I feel, and something that makes you feel good about you. You're getting something that you want, but you didn't realize that you wanted it until you let go of the thing that you thought you wanted only to realize that the thing that you wanted, you didn't know about it until now or until in the near future. I hope that that made sense. And it's because you let go of the old thing. See, but don't do this. Because, like, things are working out for you. Things are looking good. And then you got to go and fuck it up somewhere. No, I'm just kidding. But it's like then you start to – your ego still starts to hold on to why you didn't get the thing. So be careful of that. <gasps> What's up, Shireen? South node. What did I just say? South node. Play. A new start is coming. I literally just said this to you. So it's about letting go. You're destined to release something. Please let it go. Why? Because there's something more fun. Fifth house energy, right? That's where Mercury is going retrograde, right? Yeah, Mercury is going retrograde there. Okay, so this is about fun. How are we having fun? There's a, there's a new start coming. There's something creative happening for you. And you have to allow yourself to let go of the thing that didn't work out. There was just a lesson there. It was just the lesson, which can be a blessing in disguise. But if you don't let go of the lesson, you're not going to get the real blessing. So please accept that, okay? All right. So let's see here. That's good, Lori. What's up, Nicole? Thank you so much for the super chat question. There you go, Bellissima. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to my Capricorns. All right, Cappies, how you doing? Let's go ahead and see. Ooh, I like it. The star. Okay, the eight of wands. The queen of wands. Well, shit. The fool in reverse. Definitely following your dreams. Big hope, big healing. Focusing on education, maybe focusing on travel, trips. You're maybe talking, socializing a lot. You're going after the things that you want. You're feeling super confident. I'm not quite sure about that fool in reverse. That can represent you doing something impulsive. Um, but that can also represent like you not feeling like you're not ready to start off on some journey yet. So let's see. The star. This is heal something about healing. I know you guys are sick of hearing that. Me too. But it is what it is. Yeah. There's something that you're very invested in, even maybe now, or something you've been invested in in the past. And you may just kind of feel like, eh, this might be a waste of time. Do I keep doing this? You know, it's, it seems like you're kind of sitting with something a little bit. Um, but you still have hope with whatever the thing is. What's the five of cups? The four of cups. <sighs> For some of you, it could be that you didn't appreciate something and you lost it um, or you know that if you did lose something that you would be sad. Um, for others of you, it could be that, uh, you know, somebody flopped you, you know what I mean? Somebody fumbled you. Um, but I feel like you're feeling good. You know, you're, you're taking some time out alone to really think about things, to really think about the past, um, to really think about if you want something or if you want someone. And you're being quite mature about it as well. You're taking your time. You're not doing anything impulsive is what I feel with that Four of Swords. It's like you're wondering, like, if I keep investing in this thing, am I going to regret it? You know? Born in 92. Thank you so much for that super chat question. So I don't feel like it's bad. For some of you, you're getting advice about a love situation. For some of you, you are also at a distance uh, with someone. With that Eight of Wands, Knight of Cups, and Reverse, and that Six of Pentacles, you could be at a distance with somebody, um, and you could decide to kind of close that gap or close the distance between you and another person. 
Um, even if it's just like a trip or something, I could see that happening. Um, <clears throat> but why is that Knight of Cups in reverse? Sorry, the Tower in reverse. You're having a hard time letting go of someone, I think. Um, but I don't feel like it's bad per se. Um, I just think that maybe you want more time with the person. You're still giving to something, but there could be like some jealousy or a lack of vulnerability somewhere. Maybe that's where we're kind of thinking like, hey, is this really, for some of you, it could be creative blockages and you could be looking for inspiration. That could be it as well. Where you're like, oh God, I really want to write this poem, but I just haven't feel, felt inspired lately or something like that. Then we have the Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. Oh, I love that. For some of you, you're performing something. Um, for others of you, you finally, you know, remove that creative block because of maybe somebody that you're talking to or maybe you're looking for inspiration. Like for me, I'm a writer. So what I like to do is I, I like to go and read other people's things. And like sometimes I'll be reading someone else's uh, work or I'll be re reading my own and I'll be like, ding, and like something will pop off in my head. And so I feel like you guys are kind of having, having an epiphany about something and you're taking the lead with some kind of idea and you're actually trying to make it happen. But that fool in reverse, six of wands in reverse, there could be, you're probably not telling anybody about it. This it's, makes me feel like you're going after something, but you're not telling anyone about it, which is usually the best way to go. It just feels like you're keeping it on the low for right now. Yeah, house 12, kind of keeping it a secret probably. Ooh, house 12, dominance. Don't let your past hold you back. Well, we saw that five of cups. Don't let your fears take over your life. What I'm getting on that dominance card at first, I was like, maybe they're having a power struggle with somebody, which absolutely could be the case. And maybe telling you to end that or let go or try to let go of control. Um, but especially because I have the South node here. But at the same time, the ho house 12 can represent our fears, like our, our deepest fears, our subconscious fears. We don't even realize is there. Sometimes we don't even realize it's there. The house eight is more so like the things that we know is there that we don't want people to see, right? Like I have your honest there. I'm a kinky bitch, okay? I don't need people to know all that, <laughs> right? Um, but house 12 is more of like the subconscious secrets or the the subconscious things that are keeping us from living our best life sometimes. And I feel like your fears are kind of dominating you a little bit. So be cautious of that. It could also be like your, you know, uh, your past, also, because House 12 can be about your past and it can be like dominating your future. Like, oh, well, you know, I don't know. Maybe you have an opportunity to be really well known, but you're like, oh, I did some stupid shit when I was younger. Like, I don't want people to find out about that. Yeah, well, guess what? Everybody, everybody did. Okay. Everybody did. <laughs> you know, and it's like, you know, unfortunately, nobody can get away with doing anything anymore. Okay. Which can be good or bad. Right. But um, because, uh, you know, social media exists, right? You say one stupid thing and it follows you around till the day that you die, right? And you're crucified forever, right? But it's like, fuck that, whatever, you know? So people say dumb shit, people do shit like it is what it is. Don't let the fear dominate your life or hold you back from your future. All righty. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to Aquarius. Hey, Aquarius, how you doing? Let's go ahead and take a look. Three of Wands in reverse, the Five of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. There could be a little for speaking of social media, Yvonne, thank you so much for that super chat question. There could be a little frustration, uh, manipulation going on, maybe some shit online, some back and forth. Um, there could be some kind of debate uh, that maybe you're having here pretty soon. Seems like you want something to happen faster than it's actually happening. Are you lacking the courage? What's going on here? Oh, the Seven of Swords. Ooh. Oh boy. I just had I just had to look. I just I cheated a little. I got ahead of myself. 
three of wands in reverse with the seven of swords, the three of cups in reverse, and the two of cups. All right. So I'm getting a couple of things, and I'm going to spin it both ways. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Um, for some of you, you're wanting to come together with somebody, but there could be something like distance or it could be a third party that's getting in the way of you and another person coming together. Um, I say this as love because I see the two of cups here. It doesn't have to be. But it can be also about a decision that you need to make for your emotional well-being as well. So keep that in mind. So for some of you, it could be that you keep in engaging with people that are unhealthy for you. Um, but for some reason, you keep going back to it. I don't know if it's like an ego thing. I don't know if it's like you're trying to do what's best for the group. I don't know if you're trying to play mediator. I don't know what you're trying to do. I feel like your tr your your heart is in the right place maybe like when you're trying to make a decision about some kind of group thing going on or some kind of lover or – um, you know, some dr drama thing. Um, but I, I feel like it's wearing you out. Okay. Um, for others of you, if you are at a distance between you and another person, you could just be trying to figure out how to close the gap or it's like you're really wanting to, um, reconcile with somebody, but you're maybe having a hard time succeeding at, at that. Um, especially when you feel very connected to said person. What's that seven of swords about? The six of swords. Is it someone that you've already moved on with or are you trying to resolve – it feels like you're trying to resolve a problem, like what's best for the group. But the thing is, is that that Five of Swords and that Emperor in Reverse, ugh, be very careful about that. Now, if that's you, that could be – like if you're this Emperor in Reverse, okay, hopefully not. But if you're this Emperor in Reverse, Rosie, thank you so much for that super chat question. This can be a very domineering, dominating energy. It's like this is somebody who doesn't get what they want by doing – by the normal way – so they have to do these underhanded tactics or they have to do like a smear campaign or they have to you, you know what I'm saying in order to get their way or in order to win so it's like not not winning or not getting what they want through a moral standard but through underhanded tactics or manipulation control even abuse sometimes so hopefully that's not you you know, and I don't know who this is, but that's what it looks like and with, with that, that page of swords and the chariot in reverse if this is somebody else doing this you could be kind of like seeing that and be like, ugh, you know, chariot in reverse, like, fucking fail, bitch. I'm not, you know, you know, and if you guys are the ones that are, are, that are doing, like, you are the emperor in reverse, you could be failing at what you're doing because people are realizing, like, what you're doing, okay? But you could be realizing that somebody else is being manipulative or somebody else is doing underhanded tactics in order to get what they want and you could be putting a full stop to that, two of pentacles, the four of pentacles. You know, like, no, I'm done. Like, I'm done cleaning up your mess. It feels like a group thing for some of you, um, but it could absolutely be, like, trying to come together with another person. Okay. Ooh, that was a weird one. Conjunction. That's a, com a merging, a coming together. Bond. Your dreams need a practical plan. Well, conjunction is the strongest aspect in astrology. Well, what's a conjunction? Coming together, merging. And it could go a few different ways. A conjunction can either go absolutely horribly, it can go really, really great, or it can be somewhere in the middle. And that's going to be up to the parties involved. That's going to be up to you. That's going to be up to another person or other people. And it's going to be up to the stars. So it's like, how do you want this to go? It is asking you to be practical about it. It is saying that there's some kind of bond here that maybe you need to address or come together with, but it may be saying the ball is kind of in your court for how you really want it to go. And how you act, whether you act accordingly or not, is the full moon and Taurus energy, okay, whatever that is for you. So whatever the conclusion. But it's asking you to be practical. It's asking you to be grounded with your decision making, okay? I don't know why, but that was giving me stalker vibes, okay, for some of you. Be careful of that. All righty. Sorry, that was like, whew. I'm dead, Lori. All right, let's go ahead. All right, Pisces, let's see what you got. The Ace of Cups. 
Ooh, the Hierophant. Love that. The Queen of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. Are y'all getting married? Some of y'all are getting proposed to or getting married or something. Some kind of union coming together of some sort. For some of you, you're really getting in touch with your spirituality or your religion or whatever your thing is. Maybe educating yourself on business. I see you being incredibly financially stable. A lot of security, a lot of financial security. And not only that, but a lot of emotional security. Being emotionally supportive and having people that are being emotionally supportive towards you. So there's some new beginning. Tell me about this. Or we're feeling a little, oh, damn. See, I told you, love and money. But the love of money. The Knight of Pentacles. Why are we eight, eight of swords in it? The Ten of Pentacles. Is this really something that can stand the test of time? That's what you're worried about. Because, like, I kind of have this feeling that you want everything. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of... um Back, I used to be a live streamer back in the day, and I used to get drunk and act like an idiot on there. Um, but I was live, uh, and it was for my like 32nd birthday, I think. And I was dating my best friend kind of at the time, and uh, we were up there streaming, and I was totally drunk. And we were in the other room, and I was throwing one of my little brat fits. And I said, I was saying that I wanted something, and he was like, What do you want? And I go, I don't know. And he goes, what do you want? And you just hear me in the background go, I want everything. And I started crying. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> I want everything. Like if this is your individual monthly reading, I would – that's what I would title it. And um, that's kind of what it's making me feel like. And why not? Why can't you have everything? You know what I mean? And I, I feel like that's what you're really focused on. But I also feel like you want it something to be tangible. And I say that because we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So that's the action that you're taking towards something. And I feel like you're also future focused because that Knight of Pentacles is focused this way, which tells me that you're future focused, which tells me that you're legacy focused. Um, you know, is this something that I can be doing for the next 20 years as a job, as a career? Is this a person that I can see myself with for the rest of my life? Or are my kids going to like them. I don't know, right? It's like something like that. But I feel like you also want to keep your independence at the same time. The Hierophant, the world. Yeah, I feel like, man, listen, for some of y'all that are in re a relationship, I, I don't want you to come back to me and be, be like, Violetta, fuck you. He didn't propose or whatever. But I feel like something is coming to a culminating point. Like something is being solidified. It feels like marriage or it feels like some very committed relationship. I want everything, the world. I want the world. You know what I mean? It's something that's very spiritually aligned. It's something that is structured. It's something that can last, the Hierophant, right? It's Taurus energy. It's something we can build upon. Damn. I, what did I say? What did I say? I told you you want to keep your independence. What did I say? I told you. Oh, my God. I just, you know what, Violetta? Good job, buddy. Queen of Pentacles, right? This can be somebody who's very committed. But then when I got – when I clarified and I got the Nine of Pentacles, that's like, okay, yeah, but like I still want to keep my independence because like I don't know, right? Some of you have been absolutely traumatized by life. Maybe you've been financially abused, bitch. I have no idea. Okay, been there, done that. Who knows? But for whatever reason, you're like, okay, yeah, sure. But like, you know, I'm going to keep a little money in my pocket just in case, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like something like that. So I think that you're feeling pretty confident. You're looking good, feeling good, smelling good. But this feels very commitment-oriented or it could be business-oriented. But then we have that Ten of Cups there. Damn, Pisces, you have the best reading. You have the best reading, dude. Damn, I hope this is my reading. I'm a Jupiter and Pisces. I hope that this is my reading. This is so good. Damn, not only that, but you're like evolving. Like there's some kind of relationship or some kind of emotional support that you're getting that you're just thriving in. Like you don't even have to try. Like it's just naturally happening for you. God, that's beautiful. Your advice is air, distance, emotions are running high. This is asking you to be logical about something. It's also asking you to kind of take a step back and look at the full picture of something before you make a decision. And it could feel like you are very um, emotionally consumed by something. Um, it's just asking you to be open-minded. Be open-minded, but also use your logic, which I think that you're doing anyway. So yeah. So that's what I got for you, Pisces. Uh, Dolly Grace, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that for that super chat question, I mean. All right. Did I shuffle another deck? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Okay. 
All right, so now we're gonna uh, move on to super chat questions. If you guys can just give me a second, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my kids into bed because because it is their bedtime. I'm gonna use the restroom and maybe get a snack, and I will be right back. Okay, one sec.
Okay, sorry about that. Mom life. Okay. Mom life. <laughs> Anna Banana, thank you uh, so much. Uh, thank you, Courtney Renee, as well. So good to see you, baby. Okay. Amanda, thank you so much. Okay, let's do this. Sorry, guys. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Sky. All right. Shout out to Complexity for becoming Hand of the Queen. Uh for our members okay or whatever so i'm kind of out of it trying to get them to bed is driving me nuts All right darcy striker hello my dearest did i totally screw it up with the new pisces leo rising new guy will he be back um how does he feel about her now he doesn't really know. He's like okay with what's going on. He's not like super put off by it, but he's trying to listen to his intuition as well. What is his intuition telling him? He doesn't know if he can really handle this is what I'm getting with that seven of wands in reverse. He doesn't really know if he can maintain something, but like whatever choice he's made, it seems like he's at peace with it. So whatever that means for you, will he be back? Yeah, I think so. With that two of swords in reverse, I think so. I don't think he's going to, like, avoid it, per se. Alexis uh, Barberi. I never know how to say her last name. Uh, hi, V. What do I need to hear in regards to love? Somebody that hurt you may come back to you. Damn. You got the Three of Swords, the Eight of Cups in reverse, and the Devil in reverse. Now, if you're dealing with somebody or you may feel if, if it's a possibility that somebody has come back or that will come back, um, what is this person's intent? If that's the case, justice in reverse, I don't, I don't think that they've actually changed any. They could just be trying to play the victim card even though they know what they did is wrong, but they are, it's not really changed behavior. Um, this could also be telling you that it's possible you are repeating past patterns um, in your life. And this is going to sound maybe shitty, but it's asking you to look at a certain pattern that you have or a part that you may play in your relationships. Like, how do I explain this? Um, I feel like you understand. So I don't want to, obviously, I'm not trying to be condescending. I feel like you get it. But I also want to make sure that you get the answer that you're looking for or maybe not the one you're looking for. But it's kind of like um, I know that I am kind of like a little girl when it comes to love. Like somebody in the beginning can tell me all of these beautiful things and I'm like the princess in the tower who just wants to come out of the tower and doesn't want to be alone anymore. So I'm like, oh, yes, tell me more. You know, so I fall a lot for narcissists and things and then I get mad when they, when they are who I knew that they were. You know what I'm saying? It's like I have to stop being so giddy about that even though I have that like childlike wonder. I know that I, I need to stop doing that because I keep breaking my own heart. So it can be kind of something like that as well. It's asking you to allow this to inspire you in some way. I just want one more. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, so Queen of Swords, it's asking you to, you know, be a little bit smarter than you've been before uh, when it comes to love. It's asking asking you to allow it to inspire you, right? The Queen of Swords is somebody who's had tons of heartbreak, um, and that's why she doesn't take shit anymore. <laughs> so, so. Your advice is the sun waterproof I love that and a time for healing so it's kind of what I said right um I want to say that this is your time to be confident um I'm not saying that you can't allow your emotions to penetrate you or you can't be vulnerable to certain experiences but it's about being confident enough to know which experiences to allow uh allow yourself to experience you know um allow who gets a chance to uh have access to your heart space and who doesn't um, and really being honest with yourself about those things, okay? I feel like the solar eclipse in Aries is really going to illuminate a lot of things for you specifically within the next six months. Thank you, Alexis. Uh, Sarah, did I make the right decision by removing the Leo from my life?
Um, I do. Um, because I asked what would have happened if you would have kept him around, and I got the lovers in reverse, the ten of wands in reverse, and the magician in reverse. A whole lot of manipulation, uh, making you do a hell of a lot more than you should, most likely. Um, and uh, this isn't something that's really in alignment with you anymore, maybe, with that lovers in reverse. Um, it could be a constant sense of trying to prove something, you trying to prove something, you trying to overdo it and just not getting the answers that you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I think that you made the right decision for now. Uh, Anna T, thank you so much. Uh, what happened with this guy I met on vacation? Is he unstable or a liar? Next steps. And what was the purpose of meeting him? Is this person unstable or a liar? Who are they truly? Yeah, I wouldn't say they're stable per se. I mean, you know, you got the hangman, the knight of wands, the strength in reverse. I mean, I think this is somebody who um, is probably more intelligent than they look, uh, but it's it's a different kind of intelligence. It's like an intuitive intelligence. I think this person is highly intuitive. I think that they have a great foresight. I think this is somebody who um, probably can be very healing for others, um, but I... I also feel like with the and even sacrificial to to a point, um, but I also feel like this person doesn't have a whole lot of confidence and some, can sometimes be a little impulsive when it comes to their actions. Unstable and a liar. Mm, I'm not really getting those words per se. Um, I would say that th this person is more. I don't want to say loosey goosey, but they're a little mutable. They're a little fluid. Um, and I, I think that this is somebody who has a hard time. I don't know if they have like a sex addiction or something, but this is somebody who has a hard time pulling back the reins when they want something. So whatever that means. I'm not getting like a, a liar, but I, I feel like this person has a hard time like saying no to things or I don't know if that makes sense. You know? Um, next steps. Uh, what should Anna do? towards this person the five of wands in reverse give me one more the page of pentacles i mean don't don't fight don't fight so hard to put in an effort i mean i i think that you can entertain it if you'd like but i wouldn't go to the point where you feel like you are at conflict with yourself or you're overdoing it in some way or if it's starting drama or if or internally if you feel conflicted about it i don't think that you should you should really go with it if you're feeling that hard up about it. it's okay to like maybe learn about this person more page of pentacles can be like learning right but try not to let it allow you to get to a point where it's too much does that make sense what was the purpose of meeting him Mm, to learn self-love, to get together with somebody that may teach you confidence and learning how to implement boundaries um, while still being able to be enjoyable or uh, having a good time. It's weird. Your advice is the North Node, self-interest, and it's time to take action, New Moon and Aries. Wow, well, the North Node is in Aries. I would take a look at where the North Node uh, is currently transiting your chart. Okay, because um, I feel like that is kind of telling me, giving me a hint about something. Um, now, the North Node to self-interest to an Aries card is telling me that you need to go after after what you want. Now, this doesn't mean you have to be selfish per se, but a little bit. This is asking you to be selfish. Um, and it's asking you to take the lead. Didn't I say that? It's asking you to take the lead in the situation. Um, and what I mean by that is implementing boundaries. No, I don't like that because I feel like this is somebody who doesn't know boundaries very well. Mutable, 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 strength in reverse, might as well be mutable. It's like, you know, and um, I feel like this is asking you to act in accordance with your self-interest. So whatever that means. But I feel like you're going to have to take the lead in something if you want the results that, that you want. Okay, whatever that means for you. Uh, Vanessa Williams, hi, Leo man's feelings and intentions towards me at this moment. Show me the Leo's feelings towards Vanessa right now. Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Cups, the Three of Wands, 
So this person may be uh, waiting for you to say something, but it feels like this person is maybe taking advantage of your what they believe is naivety or what they believe is your vulnerability or your emotions a little bit, and they could be kind of manipulating you in some way or taking advantage of that and, and waiting for you to come forth, or he could feel like you're doing that. Okay, obviously you're going to know what's what. Show me the intentions towards Vanessa. Hmm. He wants what he wants, that's for sure. The Nine of Cups to the Temperance to the Knight of Pentacles, they're not bad cards. Um, it seems like he's really going slow. Maybe that's what that is. Maybe he's taking his time offering something, waiting for the right, the right time. Clearly, he feels like you check off a lot of boxes, but he's taking his sweet-ass time. Knight yeah. of Pentacles. Why is he taking his sweet-ass time? I'm just Four of Swords in Reverse, there could be an uncertainty here. Or he could feel like there are still things that are swept under the rug that haven't been dealt with. Um, he could be stressed out over things, still healing from something, blah, blah, blah. You know, the possibilities are endless. Um, but I feel like this is somebody who wants to create something with you because, like, like I said, again, you check off a lot of the boxes, but it seems like he's really taking his time. Or his intent is to take his time. You got mutable, you got ghosts, and it's time to release negativity. So this is asking you to welcome change, to surrender, to be fluid, uh, to go with the flow. Um, as far as ghosts, this can be like what's haunting you. Um, this can be what's still following you around. What are you allowing that's still attached to you? Because this could be like, for instance, what do I mean by that? So, um, and I'm not saying that this is what it is. I'm just saying like an example like that I could give you that relates to my life to give you kind of in the same arena. I mean, you know what I mean? You've been watching me long enough. So um, I've had uh, exes really make me feel like I was ugly and I wasn't worth it, right? And I carry that around in my relationships, which in turn makes me over overdo it or overgive because I feel like I'm not pretty enough or I feel like I'm not good enough. And so because of these past people who've made me feel this way, I overdo it or I put up with a lot more than I should, okay? So it's like, what what is that thing for you? Do you know what I'm saying? Thank you, Vanessa. Ella, 101, whatever comes out in love. All right, show me what uh, Ella can expect in love. The Seven of Cups, the Two of Swords in Reverse. Okay, Five of Swords in Reverse, Knight of Cups. Okay, it's not bad to me. This doesn't look bad to me. Um, could be a little bit of a needing to cut through the fog, needing to see the reality of a situation, sure. But this can also represent a lot of options. And basically, you just having your pick a litter, basically, okay? Make sure you're going out, looking good, feeling good, smelling good, right? No. Uh, but however you, however you do your thing, um, I feel like there's somebody that's going to come around if there's not somebody already who doesn't seem like they're really playing games with you. Uh, it seems like this person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, but this could be somebody who could also be a Venus in Scorpio with that Seven of Cups, beware. Um, but I feel like this doesn't look bad. feels like you have your pick of the litter or you have somebody who's trying to sweep you off your feet, essentially. You don't really have anything bad to say. Uh, Ella, career and finances. What's going on with that? Ten of Cups in reverse. Uh, you could feel like not supported uh, by people at your work. There could be some things at home or in your family life or a lack of emotional support that, that could be affecting you. Um, but it looks like with that nine of wands, five of wands, oh boy, queen of cups, there could be some kind of um, conflict between you and another person. Like you and another feminine energy at work, so be cautious with that. But I'm kind of feeling like if you stop giving a fuck what somebody thinks or you stop giving a fuck with what a very specific person, of course, like you obviously have to care about what your boss thinks, you know what I'm saying? But it's telling me that if you stop giving a fuck what other people think or what somebody else thinks and you stop uh, uh, allowing yourself to f be conflicted by other people's opinions um, or something like that, you can actually have what you want. So I don't know what that means for you, um, but that's what I got. There could also be another feminine energy here who may have some really good ideas or some brainstorming ideas that may actually be beneficial for you. So I'm, I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, I'll give you um, an oracle. Yeah, look at that. House seven, which is relationships, business or otherwise, teamwork. 
nothing is yet set in stone. So if you're stressed out about something in regards to finances, I feel like there's somebody here who could advise you or somebody who has really good ideas or somebody who has good advice, like I said. Um, and I feel like you're needing to work together with this person because something that you may feel like is set in stone that you're not happy with can actually change for the better. Um, so I want to say like listen to another person potentially. It's so funny for that to come out. Uh, Lee, hi, hun. Can you please tell me, is Tim going to reach out to me? Within the next three months, is he going to? Is Tim going to reach out to Lee? I think so. With that three of pentacles, it might it might take him a bit. It might take him literally three months. Okay, with that three of pentacles, uh, but I think that he will. I think that he's interested in getting on the same page with you. What will he want? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. I don't know if he'll want a relationship, but I think he will want to get on the same page with you, whatever that means. How is the situation between him and the other girl? Uh, a lot of mental manipulation, social media, mind games going on. Uh, something's crashing down and burning, basically, with that page of swords in that tower. Uh, and Lee, thank you so much for the thank you message. That was very sweet. Um, I'll pull you an advice, an oracle. Fixed. Growth. The answers you need are coming. It's trying to tell you go with the flow. As far as like the communication that you're waiting on, the blah, 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 whatever, leave it there. Leave it to come to you. Don't sit there and hyper-focus on it. Don't do that. Um, what it is telling you to hyper-focus on is your own personal growth. You're going to realize how much you actually attract that is for you when you're focused on you. So whatever, however you can grow, I don't know, what do you need to do? Do you need to take a business class? Do you need to focus on your fitness, your healthy routine, a good night's sleep? I mean, what is it? Your beauty routine, you know, yeah, your education, reading more, meditating more? What is it? Because you're going to find that the, the more that you fixate on your sense of growth, the answers that you need, that you think that you need, that maybe you won't even need at that point because you're going to grow out of it because I assure you've been there, done that, you'll find that things work out better for you, okay? Uh, thank you, Lee. Alexis, hi, is there anything coming towards me? Ooh, baby. That self-worth is looking top tier. Um, that self-worth is looking top tier. Uh, I could definitely see uh, you getting pregnant, so be careful if you don't want that. I'm just putting that out there. But this could just be you really aligning with your femininity and your higher self and you getting into a great, a very creative vibe. I see you looking very, very good here shortly. Now, if you are, if you're interested in women like that, I could definitely see somebody who actually has children, somebody coming together with you and, uh, and connecting with you. Okay. I don't, I don't pretend to know people's sex orientation here I'm just putting it out there um, but I feel like you being in your feminine energy you being in your creative energy and knowing your worth is going to bring in some kind of like soulmate like a strong soulmate like a meant to be kind of thing crystal ball general love we weed general love weed uh, show me what's going on here you know, with that four of wands in reverse, the page of pentacles um, and the six of swords, it, this is making me feel like something is just not clicking. Like, like it, it feels like you're trying to get in touch with somebody or you're trying to like connect with somebody and it just feels like we're missing the ball. Which is like, okay, well, that didn't work. You know, it's, I don't know. It feels like you're trying to learn about somebody or they're trying to learn about you and it's just like, just not gelling. And it's like, okay, it's like that awkward, like, ass out church hug. Okay, thank you. Bye. Like, that's what it looks like. Show me more. You be careful. Um, somebody here could be pretty flighty. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Justice in reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Um, I think that somebody may feel like you have low self-worth or low self-value or you're the type of person where if somebody's not giving you equal, um, that that's going to manipulate you to give more and to do more and to chase. Be careful with that because I don't feel like somebody has the best of intentions. House five, battle and meditate and contemplate so I mean this is interesting to me um you know there can definitely be some kind of battle in love absolutely um if there is some kind of fight or if there is some kind of internal conflict that you're having about some kind of romantic connection I feel like this is telling you to try to have some fucking fun in your life you know if something is stressing you out let it go you know it doesn't mean that you can't work through 
through things sometimes, but because that uh, the house five card is coming out and in combination with the meditate and contemplate, if you are having somebody who's stressing you out constantly, et cetera, it's asking you be more creative, go out there, meet people, um, start a business, learn how to start a business or, you know, something that's going to get you in your own sense of self-expression and creativity, okay? And break out of those patterns if you have any. Uh, thank you, Crystal. Uh, Aosh, how does D feel about me? Mm, five of Pentacles, judgment or reverse. And may feel like something's missing or may he may feel like either he has, uh, this person, D, has to take accountability for something but refuses to. So there's like a missed opportunity or he could feel or this person could feel like you're doing that. But it's like the sense of loss in some way, a sense of loss, a sense of missing like abandonment or something like that. Cassidy, what does Cody need want me to know about why we are in no contact? Is he going to reach out in the next few days? Thank you. Let me see. What does Cody need slash want me to know about why they are in no contact? It feels like it's done, that things are changing, things have changed, he's changing. Um, is he going to reach out in the next few days? I, I think that he's thinking about it, but there's no guarantee it's going to be on whether or not he wants to, like, I don't know, relive this is what I'm getting, like, relive this again. But he just kind of feels like it's done or things are changing or they're not – they haven't changed. So he's like, I'm out of here, you know. But I think he's going to think about it, whether or not he actually does it. And this is, like, him making a plan. So I don't know. It's it's like this stuck between a rock and a hard place kind of energy. So he's he's uncertain. He's still not certain. So until that energy changes, that answer isn't going to change. Alexis, how does Pisces feel? Will he reach out soon? How does Pisces feel towards Alexis? Five of Cups, sad, missing you, thinking about the past, uh, thinking about some past shit that has nothing to do with you. You know, something about being sad, not being able to look at the glass half full. Will he reach out soon? Yeah, Knight of Wands. I feel like he's going to, it's just for a good time, not a long time though. It'd be, be like, uh, maybe like a sexual thing. Um, vision. Hey, love. Will I ever get improved at my job or at least get recognition for my bosses for my hard work? Ooh, no. Emperor in reverse, six of wands in reverse. It's almost like a boss intentionally doesn't want to give you the pat on the back because they're trying to make you feel a certain way about yourself or because they're trying to. It's so interesting because the emperor it can literally be a boss and the six of wands in reverse is literally a lack of recognition. So it's really interesting that you ask that question. No, I don't think so. And I think he's doing it on purpose or one of them are. Vision, general messages and love reading. Um, what's coming for Vision? You may end up letting go of the job or you may end up letting go of something that you you believe is a, a fucking facade or that's bullshit. Love reading. Uh, I have Virgo, Gemini, and Leo here. I really like this. Um, I feel like somebody has a very set intention when it comes to you. And this person, whoever they they are, they're very mentally and physically confident. I feel like this is a very strong-willed, strong-minded person. Um, and I feel like they do have an intent to grab you, you know, keep you in some way with that strength card. So specifically the signs that I got for that, though, were um, Mercury. So Virgo, Gemini, and Leo. Ugly Truth Tarot, Gemini, Sun, Moon, uh, Gemini Sun and Moon Libra Rising Cancer Venus. I love Cancer Venuses. Uh, dating a Cap Sun Cancer Moon man. Been together a year now. What's the future of this healthy but weird relationship? Thanks, babe. I got you. Show me the future. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Hangman. The Chariot. The Nine of Wands. Well, it's gonna fail. Okay, hear me out. It's gonna fail. We're going to get perspective about something. We're going to let something end. We're going to let go of control. But it's like somebody comes back and fights for it. And I'm not sure what happens uh, with that. Somebody could gain perspective on something. Um, somebody could need a break. Um, somebody could need to change. Somebody could have fears here. But it's showing me that a perspective is being, is being had. But with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I don't know if somebody's just not fully committing and then somebody's like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, but we are fighting for it and it looks like the relationship is kind of coming out on top in a way. It's just going to show up in a different way than it is now. Okay. Or we're trying to figure out how to make something a reality. Thank you, Ugly Truth Tarot. Gigi, hi, gorgeous. What are Bobby's feelings towards me? Thanks. The Hermit. 
How does he see Gigi? Seven of Swords, the Sun. Feels like you're hiding something. But I, I also feel like this is somebody who looks at you like someone that makes them very happy, has the ability to make them very happy, but they're kind of feeling like they need to think about something. They're trying to find themselves. This feels like more of a self thing than anything. Like you may be teaching them something about themselves that, it, that they didn't realize, that they maybe don't even realize right now. If there's something about their childhood or about the way they, they, deal, they deal with the past or the fact that maybe they need to grow up, you know? Um, I'm not saying that's a fact, but like it could be that maybe they're you're starting to make them realize that they need to grow up in some way. Um, you know, because the son can kind of be like a father figure a little bit. You know, I'm not saying that you're a father, obviously, right? But it's like it can kind of be that like, hey, I'm trying to shine a line on the shit that you need to fix. Thank you. And he feels like whatever you do, it's for the two of you or you're very partner minded or group oriented. If, does that make sense? Hope that makes sense. Power of the P, you're gorgeous. Love read for me, pretty please. Thank you. You're gorgeous too. Uh, okay. We're trying again is what I'm getting. Uh, the fool, right, is the first major arcana. The world is the last, but the world is in reverse, which is making me feel like we're trying something again. We're taking initiative. We're taking a leap of faith on something again because we don't have closure. That's what that looks like to me. Nicole, do, what does Isaiah think of me? How does he view me? He feels like uh, you keep repeating cycles or there is, a, there is a refusal to change. And because of that, whatever that may mean, he feels like you break your own heart or you have a hard time letting go of situations that hurt you. How does he view me? Interesting. He feels like you're somebody that he can commit to uh, or somebody that wants commitment, but at the same time, maybe feeling like there's something about this that isn't necessarily logical. That's interesting. Thanks, Nicole. Born in 92. Uh, how she feels towards me at this moment. Ten of Wands in reverse, uh, Ace of Wands in reverse. Having a hard time letting go of something. Um, feeling like uh, she's dealing with a lot. Um, there's maybe something that she needs to get off her chest, but she's kind of delaying it a little bit. Um, just you see that ten of wands in reverse, ace of wands in reverse, the star and the four of cups in reverse. But she has hope uh, towards something. If you guys have had like a wonky situation, I feel like she has hope that things will come out um, right. But it seems like she's kind of a little lackluster. She's a little stressed out over something. Yvonne, what's coming towards me in love? Uh, if you're into women, I could definitely see that happening. Uh, but if you are just, if you're not into women, okay, or maybe there's a, a feminine kind of man coming towards you, right? Um, it could be like a Libra specifically or somebody with a very strong Libra placement, somebody who's very practical and somebody's about their money and somebody who's very logical, blah, 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 right? That has like a feminine touch to them. If you're into women, you can be a Queen of Swords archetype, somebody who's very intelligent, okay, very money focused. Um, however, this could be just you. Uh, you could have gone through a lot here in your past and you could be a little bit of a hard ass right now. So you may be having, <laughs> you know, you, you may be making very, very cutthroat decisions when it comes to love, cutting shit out immediately. So if this is you, this Queen of Swords, I don't really know if you are, I feel like you're attracting people because this Queen of Swords is Venusian energy and Venus attracts, but I don't, I think you're having a pretty easy time making decisions let me put it like that so I feel like you're attracting people you may have a decision to make between two people with that two of pentacles and I feel like you're not going to skimp on yourself neither Rosie what does Dragomir see for our future you look amazing tonight oh thank you what does he see for your future well he's very stubborn on what he wants um he could feel like there is a difference in morals or values or religious or spiritual beliefs that could absolutely be it he may be wanting to discuss that further talk about that i feel like he wants movement forward if it's not about the difference in spiritual religious etc cetera, etc cetera, i feel like he is um wanting to travel to come see you if you guys are long distance but it could also be somebody who is um very stubborn in regards to what it is that they want and they're not willing to budge on that so it's like yeah you can have me or we can do this and we can move forward as long as it's my way okay he may be feeling like that that's you okay but i feel like that's him 
Uh, Dolly Grace. Oh my God, where'd it go? Okay, there we go. Dolly Grace, how can I best get myself out of a mental rut? Okay. Hmm. Sometimes it's not always about addition, it's about subtraction. When it comes to um, having happiness in your life, it's not always about what we can accumulate, but what we can let go of. What we feel is uh, keeping us up at night, what we feel like is um, not in our best interest, if it's a person, if it's a habit, I mean, what is it, you know? It's about taking that thing and removing the problem. Um, now, what happens if you're the problem? Well, you have to figure out what problem that is because it's not per se you are the problem. It's about a problem that you have that needs to be fixed. So like what is that, right? Uh, I'm a procrastinator, for instance. I know that that is a huge issue in my life and it is why nine times out of ten I am very unhappy. So it's like what is that thing? Um, this is also asking you to kind of start over a little bit, right? Uh, two of Cups, Page of Wands. This is like, how can I make decisions that are for my best emotional interest? And if I do that, how can I nurture my inner child by making those decisions, by making those emotional decisions? Um, so like what's best for your mental well-being? Who are the people that you can surround yourself with that make you feel seen, that make you feel confident? It's also asking you, even if you're scared to take a step like in, in a direction that you're not really – Sure, well, like, I'm too scared or I don't know if I can do this. It's telling you just to do it anyway. Say the thing, even if your voice shakes. Take that step uh, first in order to build that confidence in yourself again. So I feel like you need to start something. Take a chance. Uh, hold on. Let me um, shuffle these cards again. Okay. Um, Courtney Renee, what positive things are coming next for me in romance this year? Anything worthwhile? Still trying to move on from a Pisces. Thank you. Absolutely. Let me see. Show me the positive only that's coming towards uh, Courtney within this year for romance. Love that. Love that. So, I mean, this is what I have for you, right? You're overcoming something. You're overcoming a person. Uh, you're realizing that you should have listened to your intuition and that's okay. And it is what it is. And you're like, uh, not that again. Fuck that. I'm over it. You're evolving now. Um, there was something that was blocking you being able to see your full potential. And now that that's being removed, guess what comes in? Seven of Wands, King of Cups, Ace of Swords. Somebody who may be very easy to talk to, somebody who's very emotionally intelligent, very emotionally vulnerable, and somebody who's willing to fight for you. Somebody who's also not afraid to stand up and be like, ah, oh, no, Courtney's mine. Thank you. Have a nice day. And somebody who's clear about you. Sagittarius, mischief, end of a tough cycle approaches. Um, I feel like um, you need to look at the bigger picture of something. Um, I also feel like you need to be uh, more optimistic. Um, I wouldn't get yourself involved with people that you know are not going to do any good for you. It's like you already been there, done that. You got the t-shirt. You got the fucking coffee mug. Like move on. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like you need to break free from something or someone or, or from an old way of doing something. And I feel like once you're able to do that, um, you can explore your options and the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, so I feel like something that's going on right now is, is quite karmic. It, there's a lesson that you need to learn, as we all do, right? Thank you, Courtney. Anna Banana, hey, girl, hey, what does he want from me? What does he want to tell me? What does he want from Anna? He doesn't know. Eight of Swords. The moon, he doesn't even know. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I think there's a fear of missing out, uh, having a missed opportunity in some way. But he doesn't know. He feels like he needs to make a decision based around his emotions, but he's having a hard time doing that. So he's like, holy shit, should I just let this go? 
He's trying to listen to his intuition more than anything. A weirdo. What does he want to tell me? The Seven of Pentacles? He's trying to decide if he still wants to invest. He's trying to take his time. The Seven of Pentacles is, is you know, it can sometimes be like, should I c continue to invest in this or should I invest in this? You know, it can be like a, as can the Eight of Swords a little bit. So I feel like he would tell you that he's invested, but he needs to take his time making a decision. Amanda, Taurus's next actions towards me. The Seven of Swords, the Eight of Wands in reverse. This person may block you. Hopefully not. This person is, is um, they're trying to go with the flow of things. I, I think that this is somebody who wants a commitment genuinely. Um, I think that they're still learning you or they're still like trying to figure that out though. They're trying to perceive or they're trying to figure out what they would need to sacrifice in order to have that. However, the Hierophant can just be Taurus. Um, this is somebody that has a lot of fears, I think. And I, I think that they're having a hard time talking about something with that Seven of Swords and that Eight of Wands in reverse. It's like they... They fear talking about something is what I'm getting. Tell me about that Seven of Swords. I have to pull one more. I'm getting like a, a fear, like a fear. This person has like a fear. But it's interesting because it's like they have this fear, so they're kind of like avoidant, yet at the same time they want to put in an effort or they want to learn more, but there's almost like a blockage there. Like, oh, I've been here before, or it's like a a weird blockage. But it's, it's interesting because it's almost like their foot is on the gas pedal and the brake at the same time. So what are their next actions towards you? Well, I feel like they're avoiding a conversation. It seems like they're just kind of sitting back and kind of observing things, waiting on something um, and figuring out what they need to do or what they need to offer or what they need to learn or what they need to say, but they're having a hard time. They feel like they would have to sacrifice a part of themselves to give to this. Thank you, Amanda. Sky. What is happening next in love and advice, please? What's happening next in love? Ooh, careful. Ooh, hate that. Somebody, please be careful of drama. Please be careful of drama. It's almost like somebody's purposely trying to start it because it feeds their ego. Um, this could also just be third-party situations that they're trying to hide and somebody's trying to deceive you. So please be careful. Advice. Page of Swords, Nine of Cups in reverse. You need to realize when somebody is being selfish, uh, this is asking you to observe things. More than anything, observe. I don't care what it is on social media. I don't care if it's in person, whatever it is, be perceptive, understand what you're dealing with and move on if you need to. Because I feel like somebody's acting very selfishly or they could be, or it's telling you that you need to act more selfishly. Okay. So <laughs> you need to act more selfishly. Uh, Sky times two, his recent thoughts about me. Thank you. He feels like you're very intelligent. Queen of swords, the moon feels like you're very intelligent. Feels also like you're very intuitive. Like it's hard to get anything past you. Uh, it feels like you're very smart. Uh, Rach, I can't pray the gay away. Instead, what do I need to know that is hidden here so I can let go of her completely to heal? She is at peace with the way that she has wronged you. Or the lack of effort. She is at peace with that. She is at peace with knowing she did not bring you peace. Uh, Aisha or Isha, I hope I did that fucking right. What's next in love? Let's see. And of course, you're very welcome. Oh, Ten of Swords, the Chariot in Reverse. Oh, man. I hate to tell you, but it kind of feels like a little bit of a full stop. A lot of bit of a full stop. It feels like a full stop. It could be a betrayal, you know, as shitty as that sounds. Um, it can definitely be like a fucking you're canceled moment. Okay, not you specifically, but uh, somebody here. And it makes me feel like something's kind of failing. What else? Okay, that's good. 
And then I feel like something comes to you and it's actually something that's substantial, but you could be so focused on what had already happened or whatever this is that you just don't see it or you don't even want to see it. You know, like, you know, when you're so attracted to a person or, you know, when you're so focused on like the heartache or the disappointments that you've had and, you know, sometimes you're just like, I don't want anyone if it's not that person or if it doesn't look like this. I kind of feel like that's what's going on a little bit. So just be cautious of that, okay? What's up, Vanessa? How you doing? Um, hi, Gorgeous V. I walked away from my connection with the Virgo. He was in and out and not making a decision, but I still feel the energy. What's next in our connection? Sure. Three of Swords. Here, I'll show you. Three of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is him, to be honest. I know it's a Queen of Pentacles, but I feel like that's him being in his feminine energy. The Five of Pentacles. Eight of Cups in reverse. The King of Wands. Or maybe it's not. I don't like that. I don't like that. I, I feel like all Virgo men do this. I feel like all men do it. Um, but I feel like you're pretty hurt, feeling pretty left out. Uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's uh, tapping from the fountain of your self worth though. I think you're gonna be okay. Um, it, it feels shitty, but it's not fucking with your vibe. You know what I'm saying? You're still you. Um, I do think that this is somebody who's going to come back eight of cups in reverse, but I feel like you'd be settling. And I say that because it's like we have the king of wands in reverse here, three of pentacles. I mean, this person could absolutely have a third party, sure, especially for their ego. But at the same time, the king of wands in reverse is somebody who could who could be coming back just to know if you would say yes or take him back again or entertain it again. It's just for his ego. It's just to feel better. You know, it's like he feels that he feels like he's a shit and it's like he's not. Leo exposed the ego. <laughs> work through your fears yeah so I, i'm kind of feeling like it's you that needs to be the one to be confident enough in yourself to see the reality of a situation um you know if you have to ask yourself if somebody's into you it's like eh, you know just leave it alone you know what i'm saying um i think that uh if there's some kind of fear that you have i don't know maybe you felt like you allowed yourself to be too vulnerable maybe you know this has kind of ruined you a little bit i don't think that it has but maybe it's affected you in some way that's fine you know it, it, feel what it is that you need to feel process through it and then move on you know what i'm saying but uh, keep your confidence. I don't I don't feel like this is going to get you too down, baby. Okay. But at least it, it might get you a little down, but it's not going to it's not going to fuck with your womanhood, you know what I mean? Vanessa Williams, does Leo have plans to get together? What's this like what's going on with him? Is he like going through something? Yeah, look. What's going on with him? Didn't we have like some mental issues with him going on or him taking a sweet ass time with something? Was that you? Um, it seems like there's something that he wants to tell you, something that's on his mind. I feel like he has a plan to tell you something that's been he's been worried about or something that's that he needs to get off his chest in some kind of way. Um, it seems like he's taking a sweet ass time though. Do I feel like he has a plan per se? I don't know about a plan, but I will say I don't think that he's going to avoid you. I think he's probably going to make a decision to tell you something, um, to talk about what happened, but whatever that means. But that Knight of Pentacles tells me that it's like he may be trying to do it right, um, and he may be really caring about what you think at the time of this. Um, with that Five of Cups, it could be around the past, okay? It could be focusing on the past or, or talking about the past, but it seems like he's taking a sweet-ass time making that decision. Um, Vanessa Williams, am I the, am I the only one the Leo is speaking to? Who is this? Why does this person keep showing up? This person that he can't let go of or something? That he's like emotionally distraught over? He can't let go of a past relationship still? It's still like affecting him and his inability to commit or to like really do what he needs to be doing when it comes to love. And I asked who it is. So I have Pisces and Leo here specifically. Um, but I feel like it's a woman who maybe fucked him over or uh, a woman who was holding a secret, which could have really fucked up his confidence in some way. 
Um, I feel like he's still the reason why he can't attach to another is because he's still stuck on that person. Are they actually talking physically right now? Reversed is no, upright is yes, no, but he's still stuck, still stuck on whomever that is. Yeah, house eight, abundance. Okay, T take time to breathe out. So, this can definitely talk about a lot of psychological healing, uh, needed at this time, okay, or a lot of change that needs to happen. Um, it's interesting because house eight talks about other people's money and then we have abundance. So I don't know if you just need to be focusing on other money or uh, on other money. I don't know if you need to be focusing on money or making money or paying off debts or something like that. Um, but this could also just be saying that maybe you need to kind of take a breather. I feel like he's hiding something. It's possible he's hiding something and that could kind of be like the blockage a little bit, which could be like this past relationship that maybe, you know, the thing about men, dude, is they'll get rejected by a girl in like the third grade and they'll never forget it and they'll fuck over every woman after the third grade. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not saying that's what it is. It's probably more prevalent than that, especially because I see house eight, but um, yeah. Do you not think that you can get better than this? I feel like you could get so much better than this. House eight is like a motherfucking money house. And then you have abundance on top of it. And it's like trying to tell you, baby, chill. You could get 10 times the man that this person is. I mean, that, that's just what I'm getting from that. You know, I don't know. I mean, obviously make your own judgment, but I feel like you could get better than this person. But you have to want that, obviously. Lee, okay, hon, I want to know what made you say three months though. Um, and it really will take him that long to make a decision. Why did I say three months? I was just giving you like a time frame. I was trying to give you like a time frame and when something was going to happen, I suppose. Um, and will it really take him that long to make a decision? Uh, let's see. Give me some insight. Uh, it seems like he's having a hard time changing or he may be a little stuck in the past, having a hard time repeating patterns. He may be playing the blame game a lot. Blame it. Yeah, see, the lovers in reverse is like a refusal to make a decision because we're stuck in old patterns or because we're stuck in the past or having an unwillingness to change, being stubborn, et cetera, things like that. Knight of Swords in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Wands in reverse. This is somebody that I don't know if this person feels emasculated. I don't know if this person feels intimidated. I don't know if this per person is like waiting for you to take the reins. But it's just kind of like, I mean, all of these are in reverse. It's like a stuck in the past. It's like a refusal to take the initiative and maintain what it is that he needs to maintain. Um, it's just a stuck in the past energy. He, he He's not taking the initiative in something like he should be doing. It seems like he's just stuck with how he's been and blaming everybody else for problems or staying in the patterns that he's been in so he's not making a decision on future prospects or whatever the case is. But it's like he's just like going with the flow because he's too intimidated to – too intimidated or too – I don't want to say weak, but that's what it feels like. It feels like a weakness or something to actually make a decision. Uh, Rosie, what are his plans once my divorce is final? To kind of like sit back, to sit back a little bit. It, not, it doesn't really seem like there's a whole lot of vulnerability going on. It, it's more of like a, okay, let me think about things. Let me detach a little bit. Let me, feels like maybe he's healing or even allowing you to heal a little bit. Okay. But that page, of, give me one more. The Knight of Wands, take an action. But I, I feel like there's... Like he's doing what needs to be done, if that makes sense. Oh my goodness. My goodness. All right, guys. I love you. I'm dead, Vanessa. That is not always how it works. <laughs> All right, you guys. I love you. Uh, definitely shout out to Lori, Complexity, and Rick. Thank you guys so much um, for showing up. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, shout out to my mods. I definitely couldn't do it without you. You guys are fucking awesome. Shout out to all my dragons. Shout out especially to my members and shout out to all my super chatters or for just people that came and watched me. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.